Hello and happy Saturday. I'm actually not 100% sure what the date is, but it's like November. Actually, I think it might be November 11th today. So happy Veterans Day. I just got done with a little photo shoot and I'm about to head home. And the only other plans we have today is a gender reveal party at two. Um, and that's it. So I just thought I would come and say hi and check in with you guys. Like, I didn't video anything yesterday, but I spent my like day doing a lot of school stuff. I have a radiographic interpretation assignment that's going to be due in a few weeks that I like got started on and looked over. I completed a few of the at-home quizzes for head and neck anatomy. I do still have pre-lecture quizzes to complete, but they were just uploaded this morning. So I'm probably going to do that today. And then I just need to study for the quiz that's this upcoming week in histology and embryology. I think I might've told you, but it's like over enamel dent and cementum and pulp that's kind of my plan for the weekend i will video a little bit more sorry i haven't been really active to yesterday and today um and i'll talk to you guys later i hope that you have a wonderful saturday and a great weekend He continues to be an excellent example for what generosity in the classroom and out on the playground looks like. Congratulations to Dimitri Tito. Hello, happy Monday. It is currently 940 in the morning. My first class of the day, which is pre-clinic lecture, got moved to online which allowed me to go to my son's school this morning because they had character award ceremony and I was secretly told on Friday of last week that my son was going to receive one of the awards. Look at how sweet that is. Oh my goodness. Generosity character award. Anyways, now I'm at school. I don't have a class until 12 though, and it's only 940. So I'm just gonna hang out. Like I'm gonna go and get some work done. There was no point in going home and then coming back. That's kind of my plan. I'll let you guys know how my day goes and I hope you guys have a wonderful Monday. So I'll talk to you soon. Hi everybody, it is 3.10 in the afternoon. We finished early today. We usually get down done at like 3.54 o'clock and it's 3.10 and I'm in my car. So I'm about to head home and um, probably just continue studying for Wednesday's quiz because during lecture today, I actually was able to transfer the PowerPoints into my study guides. So I don't need to do that when I get home. This was my final in-class lecture for medical and dental emergencies and radiology. Um, next week is like fall break, Thanksgiving break, and then the week after that is a radiology exam and my medical and dental emergencies final, which is crazy. So today was a good day in radiology. We learned about panos. What did we like learn though? in medical and dental emergencies. It was so funny to me. This is our last lecture before our final, right? So she like included five different topics in this one lecture, but they were all short and she's one of my favorite professors, so it was fine. We went over adrenal glands, thyroid stuff, airway obstruction, and foreign objects getting in your eyes and also foreign objects like swallowing them or how to get them out of patients mouths so that's kind of what we went over today in that class and now i'm gonna head home and just keep going i'm super close to finals so there's a lot to like kind of study for every day um can't really go wrong studying too much i don't want to feel burnt out by like having to study for an entire day in a week i'd rather just do a little bit every day so i'm gonna start that process today i hope that you guys had a great monday and i'll talk to you later
hello happy tuesday today is november 14th and it is currently 10 a.m i just got done with the gym i went to the gym this morning with alina just to get that out of the way so that i can spend the rest of my day studying um i have my histology quiz tomorrow so I have to study for that and that's kind of all I'm going to be doing today. So I'll bring you guys along that journey. Um, I'm just going to be studying today. Nothing crazy. Might watch a little bit of House. Has anyone else ever seen House? The like doctor show with Greg House. I watched it growing up and it's on Hulu right now and I restarted it from season one and I'm obsessed. I've also been able to actually diagnose a few of the emergencies, which is really cool. Not like the end result emergencies i don't know what those names are but like in the middle like there was hypovolemic shock at one point and i was like oh my gosh that's hypovolemic shock and then the doctor in the show was like code this is blah 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 shock and i was like i diagnosed that guy so it's been pretty cool watching it again and i plan to do that today that's going to be my study break so i plan to like study for like 45 minutes and then take a break watch an episode study for 45 minutes take a break watch an episode and since it is on like four topics you know then i think i'm gonna take like like break them up so that i'm not feeling too overwhelmed but that's my plan i keep rambling i'm so sorry i'm gonna go home now and bring you guys along on my day i hope that you have a wonderful tuesday Good morning and happy Wednesday. I'm not 100% certain on what the date is, but um, it is currently 7.30 in the morning and I just parked at school. I'm about to go inside. Today I have head and neck anatomy and histology and embryology. And in histology, we have that quiz. I'm a little nervous, but I just wanna get it over with. I'm probably gonna use the entire hour of head and neck anatomy studying for the quiz because I already took my notes on the PowerPoint in Head and Neck Anatomy, so I don't really wanna like pay attention to too much because I wanna study. <laughs> so that's probably my plan of action, but um, that's it. I'll let you guys know how my day goes. I should get my quiz grade immediately, so I'll let you guys know how that goes and we'll catch back up later. Have a great day. Hello. Um, it's probably around 12.15 or something right now. We're out of class. Today was insane. These finals are going to be the death of me. We went over five chapters in histology and embryology today. Five. So our final is going to be over enamel, dentin, cementum, pulp, and the five chapters that we went over today insanity so i don't know i'm just my brain is fried i need to get home and get some of these like notes transferred over to my study guides i am going to be crazy studying over thanksgiving break in order to do well oh i forgot to mention i took my quiz and i got a 92 percent so that's good i only missed two questions um and i'm really proud of myself that's awesome so yay for me um now i'm gonna head home and get some work done. So I will talk to you guys later and I hope that you're having a wonderful Wednesday. Well, if this is not raw and real i don't know what is i just got done like bawling my eyes out because my tooth drawing for number three got graded and i did not do well on it and my professor even personally emailed me and pretty much like in an email said that she's disappointed in the mistakes that were made and stuff <clears throat> i lowered my grade quite a bit um, I think it lowered it like 
two and a half percentages, which at this point in the semester is really nerve wracking because all I have left are finals. I'm like, I can't stop crying about it. I just feel really disappointed in myself and I'm sad, but at the same time, like that's my drive. Learn what I need to learn to be able to like pass this final and call this semester over. I am so ready for a break and to just not do this for a few weeks, you know? I'm really tired and this is not easy. It's draining and I'm just exhausted. But I just wanted you guys to know what was going on. Um, I'm gonna be okay, but this is what happened today. <laughs> Hello, happy Thursday. I just parked at clinic. Today is the first part of my clinic final. So wish me luck. Um, today should be an easy day. And then part two is the one that's a little scarier, but I'm going to be clinician in the morning and then I'll be patient in the afternoon. So when I see you guys this afternoon, I will let you know how it all goes. And yeah, that's my only update really. So yeah, today is going to make me feel like such a clinician. I can't believe it. I can't believe we're already starting finals. Like how did that happen? But anyways, I'll talk to you guys later. Hi guys, I just got done with clinic. It is actually really early. I'm not 100% sure what time it is, but it's gotta be like two something when I usually get done at around 3.30. Um, I was clinician this morning and took the first part of my final. Our final is a TYP, treat your patient. So it's like a whole cleaning, but it's broken up in two days. So today we did health history, vitals, IOEO, calc index, um, perio charting, and hard charting. And um, we all had a goal of signing up by 1030 for our final checks so that we didn't miss too much of lunchtime, which starts at 1130, if I'm not mistaken. But I was the first one out of everybody to get done with my cleaning, like with the first part of my test. It was like 10.05 when my professor like left the room after checking everything. And then I cleaned my room and had a really long lunch because I didn't have to be back and be the patient until 12.30, which is really cool. So overall, I think it went really well. It was really fun. It made me feel like a real clinician. I'm so excited for clinic and to be doing this more often. Um, I did pretty well. My perio charting was spot on. I had a few threes in the posterior um, area that my professor was like, it could be a four, but we don't get points off if it's within one millimeter difference and since I said three and it could have been a four I didn't miss any points so that is great so I got full credit on perio charting for hard charting I got full credit nothing changed everything was correct um for calc index I missed a few I'm not surprised that's really hard to do my patient didn't have any subgingival calculus but he did have like some supra gingival and it's just really hard to differentiate between supra calc when my patient also has decalcification from braces so it was like it was just tricky and i'm not surprised i missed a few but overall it went well i don't know what my like grade is as of now because it is one whole grade so they kept our grading rubrics and they're gonna finish it up when we come back from break and finish part two so that's my update um I am done. I don't go back until the 27th. I have a week off for Thanksgiving. I think I'm going to have you guys join my week off if you want to. Um, I was thinking about vlogging here and there and mostly I'm just going to be studying and hanging out with the kids and then eating on Thanksgiving, but I don't want to not talk to you guys for a week. So that's kind of my plan, but it's time to study for these finals. Thanks for being on this journey with me. I think I might make it, you guys. 
Um, my histology and embryology is freaking me out a little bit because of that tooth drying situation. I'm still so embarrassed and upset about it, but I am hopeful to get good a good amount of points on our presentation that's due after break as well as the final. So hopefully I pass. Fingers crossed. All right, well, I'm going to drive home and get to my family and I'll talk to you guys later.